Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I am outside, it's a beautiful day today. And I decided to demonstrate the magic of the so-called electronically controlled or stabilized gimbal system that the now famous Bebop 2 from Parrot utilizes to allow the camera to pan up and down. And depending on the controller that you use, you can also pan to the left, to the right, and at any angle throughout its complete trajectory. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on my little pedestal that I have here and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that and you will be able to see what I am talking about. We're going to do a video recording that means I'm going to manually go ahead and just start recording. Normally what happens is that when you take off when you press the command for takeoff the video recording begins automatically. We're going to go ahead and set that manually because we're not going to be flying today. Now, as you can see here, I have something that is not stock when it comes to these. Hmm, I heard a noise over there. When it comes to these drones, and that is an attachment that I have been using for quite a while now. And it's simply all it is, it's just a GoPro Hero 3 or 4 filter unit. 52 millimeters. You have to remove the outer ring. And I trimmed it. Now, normally what people will do is just remove the outer ring. And it slips right into the actual nose cone. And it stays pretty well stuck in there. And basically its function is to protect the camera in case of a mishap. If you run it into something, you will harm that lens that sticks out, as you can see. This is a 180 degree lens. Basically, it is a fisheye lens. And notice that it is pointing at an angle downward that is to be able to allow you to do a complete straight down shot and partially up in other words you can go beyond horizontal level and actually look at the treetops when you're flying even when you're flying level it's magical i will go ahead and demonstrate that next i'm going to sit this on my pedestal we'll start the video recording and then you'll be able to see what i am talking about we're going to be using the Sky Controller 2 to perform the so-called gimbal up and down operations. I'm going to be live recording so that you will be able to see that. And again, it's magical and the results are fantastic. So we'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, so we are now recording full video, 1080p video. So I am looking straight out as you can see my little front garden here. The sun is going in and out, so you might see a slight difference in the video quality as the light changes. But nevertheless, we're here to demonstrate how the gimbal works now. As you can see, very gradually I'm moving the gimbal up. All it is doing is simply panning through that 180 degree so-called optical sphere. And notice, it is able to look up. That is unlike practically every mechanical gimbal out there. I think this actually performs a better stabilization process than most mechanical gimbals that I know actually do. And this is even wearing the filter. As you can see, I have the filter right there and it is not cutting off or causing any kind of cut off of the image. So now I am looking basically at an angle of about 45 degrees straight up. Now we're going to go ahead and try to look down. We're going to go ahead and very gradually move it. I'm going to show you the top speed. Now this is while you're flying, you can do a very gradual pan. And this, you know, it takes a little bit of practice. You're going to be using the left dial in front of your controller. Now we're back to what we were. This is pretty much horizontal right here. I'm going to drop it and drop it and drop it. And because the lens is tilted, down to begin with that's going to allow you to pretty much tilt straight down we're going to continue to go and see what that takes us the filter may may produce some cutoff who knows but you know you could always remove it if you plan on doing straight up shots where you're going to be doing a rocket shot where you simply look straight down and then take off Look at that. We are looking straight down into the sidewalk. You may even be able to see the... Yeah, there's the pedestal. Here we go. 
I'm going to say hello. I'm going to stick my hand out in front of it. So we are all the way down now. I'm gonna, that's my shadow. And that's my hand. As you can see, we're looking straight down. Let's go ahead and uh, pan it straight back up again. This time fast. This is the highest rate. And again, notice there is no optical degradation whatsoever. This is quite amazing. All right, we are back to the normal. Now with the Sky Controller 1, that's the big one, the big one that looks like a spaceship controller, you are able to not only pan up and down, but also left and right and angular, if you will. If you want to go point the camera to the upper right side, you can do that, the lower left, any angle around that 180 degree circle or so-called sphere. All right. You can see how wonderful this works. I mean, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And it does really work wonderfully. You want to pan down. Normally, I, I pan the uh, camera slightly downward. We are using the sunny selection or the sunny category on the camera. Basically, it is a preset that you, you can choose. And that allows you to then get, that, you know, get the correct white point. I don't like using automatic because that will cause changes depending what areas you're aiming the camera at as you fly. Well, all right. I hope you enjoyed this short video. This thing is amazing in what it can do. And it is one of those drones that is really ignored by the drone community because everybody wants, you know, who. This is a great performer, folks. You can get them. I just saw a kit, full kit. Sky Controller 2, the drone, brand new battery, practically new battery. In fact, often, my cable is tangled up, often what you get is a drone that came from an open box. And uh, $194 is what I saw the other day. They had about 14 of these available. I almost bought another one. That would make number three. But really, I'll probably wait for my birthday for that. So I, I know they're going to have them still available. If I see that they're becoming more scarce, then I'll go ahead and buy me a slightly more premature birthday present. That'll be this mid-September. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like. If you like drones, this is the place to go. I will be specializing on Parrot and also on Unique. Thank you so much. Happy flying, everyone. Bye-bye.